Welcome to the Halloween special of Rick's Kitchen. On this episode, we're going to be doing Halloween candy chocolate bark. Let's get started. Along Z. Alrighty. Here are the ingredients we're going to be using today. We're going to be using your chocolate candy bars, or whatever you would like to put on your Halloween candy bark. Um, I chose my favorites here, as you can see. We're also going to be using melted chocolate. I actually tried to make my own uh, chocolate today. I used the remaining uh, baked fat, uh, a, a cup of baking fat, a cup of coconut milk, and a third cup of uh, cocoa powder. And this is what it made here. Uh, it's really up to you if you want to try this. This is something I've been wanting to try and see if it comes out well. Um, it doesn't look very appetizing, but we'll see how it comes out. Um, finally, or next, we're going to be using this graham cracker, which we're going to put on the bottom so we can easily break them apart. And finally, we're going to be garnishing the Halloween bark with some of these awesome bloody bones, as you can see here. But let's get started either way. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and take these out of the box. You're going to want to just place them evenly, distribute them evenly as best as you can. Don't have them too close to the corners, another thing you're going to want to remember. Try to keep them all one-sided on one side, just to keep them even. And this is an awesome idea for remaining candy, Halloween candy that you don't necessarily finish on Halloween night. This is perfect for that time. Alrighty, so now that you've gotten your graham crackers nicely evened out like that, we're going to put some of the chocolate sauce on top of that. Now, it's really up to you if you want to try what I did today. I would recommend you melting your own um, chocolate and actually trying to do it that way. This way, I'm not sure if it's going to come out very... Actually, this is that coming out pretty good. Anywho, it's really up to you. You can try to do it your own way or whatever way you would like. This actually is coming out very, very good. It's going to have a bacony taste to it somehow. I'll give you guys a good um, eye view of it, or eagle, eagle eye view, or whatever it's called. A view from up here from where I'm looking. It doesn't, I'm, I'm sure it doesn't look necessarily that appetizing, but it's chocolate, I assure you. Anywho, let me go ahead and finish living, leveling this off and show you how that looks like. Alrighty. So, as you can see, I got it nicely evened out as much as I could. That's what you're going to want to do. Just try to even out as best as you can. And now, we're going to try to decorate. See here, I took the liberty of taking off some of the wrappings of some of these. Let's go ahead and put the M&Ms there first. Not sure what I want to do with these what type of face, if I even want to put a face. I think I'm just going to evenly distribute them. We'll see right now. Let me get a different angle here. Alright, so we're just going to just angle these. Or, not angle, but um, just kind of distribute these as evenly as possible. Just to make it a good looking Halloween bark. Um, and since we're not baking this, we're going to be putting this in the freezer to kind of freeze over. It's going to be a lot, a lot easier to eat these. And then we won't have to wait until they're cooled down. So, like that. We may have to open another. M&M pack it here. Okay, let's 
felt good. Next are the Snickers. We'll put one there, put one there, put one here, maybe another Snickers. Basically, you're going to want to make it look as uh, fancy as much as you can. I think I inadvertently made a some type of symbol. Who knows? It's candy, people. Do what you must. Do what you will. If anyone knows this symbol, please write it down on the comments below. I'm not sure what what it's called here. Can't really make a get the name off of the top of my head here. Um, lastly, we're going to be putting on our handy dandies. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead. We're going to be putting on our Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces are my favorite type of candy, hands down. Of course, next to the Snickers there. Let's get them all out of their wrappings before we put them down. Make it easier on ourselves here. I don't know, should I cut these? I was thinking about cutting these, but I already cut them down. I don't know. Not sure. We'll think about it. That's the fun. Good stuff. And talking to myself then. Once you've gotten your pieces pieces out, you want to just set them where they want to be, where they kind of fit more easily. Now, go ahead and open one more to keep it even. Again, you're going to go ahead and put whatever candies you want. I just chose my favorites. My favorites that I knew they were going to be good. going to do real good with this. And who? Lastly, we're going to be adding our bloody bones. Um, it really is up to you if you want to cook them up. I'm not sure if you're going to be using the same type of uh, design I'm going to be, or same type of ingredients I'm using. You can go ahead and cut them up and so they can look more evenly, but um, it's really up to you. So we're just going to snow down, sprinkle some of these bones everywhere as much as we can. Try to get them on the chocolate, not so much on the bars there. Make it look nice and festive for your whoever you're doing this for. Your kids, your niece and nephew in my account. That's how I'm doing this for. Maybe for me as well. Bloody bones! Bacon fat, delicious, yum. Anywho, I think that's enough uh, bones there. Let me give you guys a good eye view of how this looks here. So look at that. That's how it's gonna be looking. We're gonna put this in the freezer and let it be in there for a good hour before we try to break them apart. But yeah, let's see how they come out. So after everything's said and done, and the chocolate's nice, solidified, pretty good, that's what comes out. And like I said, you can go ahead and chop up the chocolates however you want. I just wanted to kind of put them in like a cool formation like that. Um, but yeah, like I said, go ahead and choose the way you want it. Let me go ahead and get this out. You know it comes out right when you're when it does that. It breaks apart. It doesn't come apart. It just breaks apart. Yeah, so let's give you guys a taste test. Let's see if you can get that pretty good. All right. Oh yeah, this is the best thing you can do with your Halloween candy. You can even do this with your with your kids, your your cousins, nephews. Anyway, definitely give this a try. Mm-hmm.
And that's the end of our show. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up, a comment, and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Rick's Cooking. Until next time, this is the Dr. Rick telling you, cook what you want and be happy. See ya.